out here at Andros, my expectations are high. I'm excited, I'm thrilled, and I'm gonna murder this adventure. It's a big deal, you know? At least a crackhead, huh? Big deal. Assemble. This challenge is going to be completely different. Out here, I'm dealing with sharks, stingrays, pretty much the complete opposite of what I dealt with in Alabama. That's sick. Yeah, you damn right it's sick, girl. Because I'm the king of the forest. People mistake my confidence for arrogance sometimes. On this challenge, I want to ride a tiger shark. I want to give a bull shark a high five and let him know that I'm Stephen Lee Hall Jr. For my previous challenges, I did 21 days in Madagascar and 40 days in Colombia. I'm a desert girl. I'm not a strong swimmer. My biggest fear coming out here is sharks. And I really want to conquer that. And so here I am, throwing myself into the ocean. And I know that they're here to pick off the weak ones. Story of my life, get to make it on national television. This is amazing. Get naked again! <laughs> Lots of shells on the bottom. You gotta be really careful of your feet here. Is that hey. Eva? Yeah! Look at this! <laughs> All-star crew! Oh man, I'm so glad there's somebody else here. Right? I'm so glad it's you! High five, dude. This is awesome. Hey. Oh, oh my god! Guys. It's Ryan Holt! Oh. I completed my last challenge in the Everglades. I really don't know a whole lot about sharks, aside from the fact that they can kill you with one bite or at least leave you with about 500 stitches. Commander. Hi! Oh my goodness. There's oh another one. Oh my god, another one? Yeah! Who is that? That's Kai. Ah! Who's that guy? You guys needed someone handsome in your group. I don't fear sharks. I have a great respect for them. Uh, respect of what they are capable of. They are man eaters. You have a map in your bag? I don't. I got my big old knife right yeah, there. Yeah, I got a knife. Right That's a Is that a boat what? coming in? Yeah, it looks like it's definitely coming this way. Uh huh. Hey, what's going on? Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? Hello, what's everyone. On, this guy. Hi. Got a bag of stuff. And I noticed your clothes. I am, yes. <laughs> My name is Tristan Guttridge. I'm a shark expert. And of course, we're on the island of Andros, and it is beautiful. However, it's pretty barren as well. So you're going to have to use the ocean to sustain yourselves. But you're going to have to be careful, because there's 40 species of shark in the Bahamas. 40? Now, I've brought you some extra tools to help you survive and succeed the next couple of weeks. Map of the local area. That. Good luck. Thank you. You're not staying? Thank I'm not staying. <laughs> All right, guys. Nice. Andros Island is 2,300 square miles of harsh terrain. It's blasted daily by strong winds, and sundown brings an agonizing assault of blood-sucking insects. Along with competing with the sharks for food, they will be subjected to the relentless Caribbean sun during the day and frequent violent thunderstorms at night. What do you think about this for a campsite? Like, we got a bit of shelter from it's inviting, the... inviting, and it's soft. Yeah. yeah this looks right. really nice in here. Yeah. There's water over here, guys. Nice. Wow. It's fresh. Yeah. That's great. So not salt. No. That's awesome. This is an environment where we have to stay hydrated. It's spring-fed through limestone, so it's filtered and ready to drink, which is such a blessing in a survival situation. Oh, check this out. So it looks like the boat's right over here in this body of water. I think that's the one that was on the map. That doesn't look in such bad condition, either. That's a good-looking little skip right there. Wow. In addition to the boat they've been given, the group will also have access to massive amounts of debris deposited in the Atlantic Ocean every day. I'm thinking we're right here. We're right there. Now is just as good a time as any. We Try out the boat. Try out the boat. We'll get some food, yeah. spearfish. Who's, I'm in. 
two, boom. All right, cool. I'll work on the shelter if you guys bring home some food. Awesome. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, let's do this thing. We are, like, really getting out there. I think that you and I, we need to make sure one's up and one's keeping an eye. If I see something, yeah. I'll bang the boat. Yeah. And I'll, I'll keep it as steady as I can. You know, let's, let's get in the water and see if we can get some grub. I've had some experience diving in the Keys and stuff like that with sharks. To be naked is insane. You look out at that beautiful teal ocean, it just looks calm and beautiful, like nothing in the world can harm you. Guys, huge reef shark! Get out of the water! Come on! There's bad sharks. Human beings are really not supposed to be out here. You see these apex predators literally circling. You can't help but have your heart skip a couple feet. It's starting to get mosquito time. I'm already starting to get a little itchy. There, you there go. it is. Yeah. Damn it. <sighs> Mosquitoes are just too much for me. Using a combination of chopped branches, palm leaves, and driftwood, the group spends most of the afternoon constructing a lean-to debris shelter. It's gonna work? I think we're gonna be okay. Looks like it's tides going out a little bit right now. Yeah. Um, around the side of the island where there's no wind. We can go look for some schools of fish or see if we can find okay. some lobster or something. But if you guys all wanna go as a group, that way if we do enter the water and there's some shadows and sharks, then We'll yeah, be able to have good. each other's back. Snapper on a stick. Steven is cutting up his first catch. What do you think, Steven? So far, so good? I'm excited, man. We're looking mostly bone free. Be careful here, but. Hi, Thank you so much. Morning, day three. I'm looking forward to getting back out there on the water. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some fish for breakfast. I'm a firm believer that the way you start your morning sets the tone or the pace for the rest of the day. The sun's coming up, and everyone's still sleeping. Even though it's nice to have company, honestly, on this challenge, I'm really looking forward to some solo time. You never know what the tide's going to bring in. Holy Massive hammerhead shark. The great hammerhead shark is an insatiable hunter that can grow to be 20 feet long. Its mallet-shaped head is packed with more prey-detecting organs than other sharks, so it can search a larger area, much like a wide-beamed flashlight. And the position of the eyes, as its head sways from side to side, gives it 360-degree vision, a great advantage for a deadly predator. I'm not moving. 
You don't want to make any sudden movements around the apex predator. This. I'm done with this. I'm looking for crabs in these little holes at the moment. You can kind of see they have a little bit of red and blue on them. This is a bounty this morning. Like, I've already got three crabs in the space of about five minutes. This is going to be a good score to bring back to camp. We got some brekkie. Yeah, yeah, look at you. <laughs> There's not even a mouthful of meat in each crab. At most, it's probably the same amount of calories per crab as an M&M, maybe two M&Ms. Living on three M&Ms, four M&Ms a day. Oh, here comes Ryan. Hey, Luck. No longer can catch anything. There's all these little sharks around, and they were like swimming like super close to me. 30 seconds after that, 10 foot. The uh, hammerhead 30 feet away from me. Still like shaking, that was crazy. That was, I, I don't know, I'm just, I don't really care to be in the water after seeing that. I wanna go out there and give it a go. We haven't really had a substantial meal in the past couple days. Our energy uh, levels are super low, but uh, I'm Stephen Lee Hall Jr. I'm the king of the forest. I'm kind of a big deal. I want to get in there. out here. You got heat radiating above you, you got heat radiating from the sand. That's a really, really bad situation. The salt, the wind, the heat combined, all of these really do a lot to keep us from getting food. I guess tomorrow's another day, but I'm a little disappointed. I'm back. Oh, I hate to come back empty handed, but I didn't right. see a damn thing. Only thing really? I saw up there was sharks. You were out sharks. there forever. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We were worried about you. We were yeah. wondering, like, what even happened to you and if we should send out a search party. I'm sorry. Yeah, I felt. Steven got some pretty good sunburn. And in the tropics, when there's not much to uh, block the sun, that could be uh, pretty devastating. But he just got so fried. So he just needs to lay low, take a day off, kick it in the shade, and not necessarily go out and be the fishing hero. Welcome back. Yeah. It's good to be back. Yeah. Maybe one of y'all have better luck tomorrow out there. Monofilm it. Oh, nice. Is that green rope? It's got oh, a hook. Oh, and there's a hook. Well, we found a, a giant bowl of monofilm it. No way! Yes. And it had a hook. Chris found a fishing line, and he's like a commercial fisherman. So if he can't bring anything out of these waters, then nobody can. We've had very little success in the water. The days that we've had any kind of success, the sharks show up. With our experience and the strength of our team, we should be thriving. And it's not from lack of effort or lack of knowledge. It's just, uh, you know, lack of luck. Uh, Got a smashed up little, looks like a little mangrove snapper. Looks like something jammed that up pretty good. I can't use that as bait. It's been five days since we've had anything substantial to eat. Fatigue is setting in. We're starting to get a little complacent. One of the most frustrating things as a fisherman, the competition with the sharks has been like the biggest pain in the with this fishing line, and I can turn things around.
디스커버리 샤크윅 오직 디스커버리에서만 만나실 수 있습니다